Hi everybody, wishing you all very well. Tracy Renee Stafford here. My website is tracyreneestafford.com and today I'm going to be sharing a short sequence of movement designed to open up the front body and strengthen the back body, upper body only. We'll do the lower body next time. And I do have all of this also in a blog post. If you'd rather look at pictures and read a longer written description, you can find that at my website. And so this sequence can be done sitting at the edge of your chair at your home office, at the dinner table, at the edge of your bed. And I'm wanting to do this because if you are working at your home office and staring at a screen, it's very common to let the body start to close in and shorten all the muscles in the front and overstretch all the muscles in the back and they can actually get sore from being overstretched. Um, but also, it's in these challenging times, we can almost be closing the body in as a stress reaction and while that's very understandable, when we open up the front of the body, particularly in the heart area, we're able to access a lot of good energy and good medicine that comes from the heart so that we can tap into our inner sense of vitality and our inner joy. And we always need this, but especially in challenging times. So let's start, come to sitting at the edge of your chair, at the edge of your bed, and start off with the arms down by the sides, palms facing out. Draw the belly in strongly, so you're activating the belly. Lift the chest so the breastbone is aiming up to the ceiling. Roll the shoulders back so the collarbones feel like they're rolling back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and pull them down. Keeping all of this really activated and lifted, bow the head down. So you're bowing the head down towards the heart, just letting the head relax. Staying here, breathe slowly and fully throughout this whole sequence. And as you're here, activate the muscles in the back of the body. So feel the back of the arms squeeze. So the elbows are straight. You're squeezing your triceps. Squeeze the muscles in between the shoulder blades. Squeeze all the muscles in the upper back. And as they activate and strengthen, you'll feel a passive stretch opening up through the front of the chest. Okay, the belly stays pulled in the whole time. And then keeping this position, change nothing except bend your elbows so the palms are facing up like you're holding a tray. Stay here, again, breathing fully, activating the muscles in the upper back, the upper arms, the belly, feeling the chest stay open. Changing positions, we're just gonna turn the palms to face down so it's like you're the sphinx. Staying here, the upper back is activated, but the head is relaxed. The head is bowing down towards the heart. Good, and then changing positions, turn the, the thumbs to face the ceiling and open the lower arms so the elbows are staying in by your sides. Staying here, squeeze your shoulder blades together and down. The belly is in, the heart is lifting. And then if it's okay for your shoulders, changing positions, bring the elbows out to about shoulder height. So we're like the goal post or like a W and keeping the head relaxed down. So still squeezing the shoulder blades together, squeezing all the muscles in the upper back, the chest is opening, the belly stays drawn in. And again, only if it's comfortable for your shoulders, lace your hands together behind your head and lift the chest towards the ceiling. If this is not comfortable or safe for your shoulders, just keep the arms down by your sides and lift the heart just by itself. But if your hands are behind your head, they can really support the weight of the head so it's safe on your neck. The heart is lifting, the eyes are lifting, the belly is lifting. And then float the head back up to center, lower the arms down by your sides, and then tilt the head over to the right. Staying here, breathing into the left side of the neck like it's a rainbow. Try to keep the belly lifted and the chest lifted and the shoulders rolling back and down. And then taking a breath, roll your head over to the side and going over to the other side. So now, breathing into the right side of the neck like it's a rainbow. Still keeping the belly lifted, the chest lifted, the upper back really active. 
and then roll the head forward and over to the other side once more. And staying here, bring your left hand either onto the ear or just above the ear, almost on the top of the head, wherever it's comfortable, but not behind the head, otherwise the head gets pushed forward. Okay, so having the hand on the side, lift the elbow towards the ceiling and breathe into the left side of the ribs and the left armpit. Okay, we don't wanna tilt over to the side a lot, keep even weight onto your sitting bones, and instead focus on the opening through the left side of the ribs and the left side of the armpit. Let the arm go, curl the head forward and roll over to the other side. Okay, so bringing your right hand onto the ear or just above the ear, not behind, and lift the elbow towards the sky. Breathe into the right armpit, breathe into the right side of the ribs. The belly is lifted, the chest is lifted, but the head is nice and relaxed. Good, and then letting that go, roll the head forward and then roll your head back up rest your hands onto your thighs relax the belly relax the chest back to a natural position and close your eyes just taking a moment to feel the natural opening through the chest letting the breath travel there to feel the weight of the shoulder blades to feel the weight of the arms and to feel the weight of the pelvis feeling the feet connected to the earth I'm just feeling this vital energy that you've opened up through the heart area, circulate through the whole body. And just remembering this feeling and keeping it with you throughout the day and just letting your eyes open. If you do lose this feeling, then you just repeat this exercise again. You can do it several times a day. Try and do it at least once a day. I hope you found this really helpful and useful. Again, my website is tracyreneestafford.com and you can find a written version of this there as well as other blog posts that focus on self-care and mindfulness tools to keep us feeling well in body, mind and spirit now and always. Thanks very much for watching, be well.